967, 968 might be the best pitching matchup on the card. You got Shane Bieber and the Guardians at plus 106, Luis Castillo and the Mariners at minus 116. Total of seven with some juice to the over at minus 120. I'm curious to see what the model says here. B-Dub, run suppressive park, two good pitchers. We know the Guardians lineup doesn't produce a lot of runs. And the, uh, the market's showing it, a total of seven. That's a pretty low total uh, this early in the year, but I kind of agree with it. What do you think here, Guardians, Mariners? Yeah, you know, I'm not as bullish on Castillo as I have been in the past. Uh, in fact, I haven't better than average, but uh, 74th in baseball, and uh, it kind of co- corresponds with his strikeout percentage, which is 23.9 in the 57th percentile. Uh, perhaps the mo- more impressive pitcher, not perhaps in my opinion and in my numbers, the more impressive pitcher in this game is Shane Bieber. Number 10 in the base winner ratings, you look at a strikeout percentage, 27.8, which is respectable, more than respectable in the 82nd percentile over his last 150 plate appearances. But I think what's what's very notable is that he faced 22 batters uh, against the A's and he struck out 11. And, uh, you know, doing the math in my head, that's 50%, guys. So 50% strikeout rate in his last outing. Uh, I have the game I have the game priced uh, uh, with Cleveland, actually, as a favorite, uh, a big favorite at, at minus 160. Uh, I do think Seattle's uh, uh, offense is better uh, in the respective splits. I have them fifth versus 16th. But there's a, there's a real significant starting pitcher uh, difference here. In fact... I put it out on the card at first five Cleveland minus 102. I think that's a decent opportunity. Uh, it's still not good enough to make the the, the show, but, uh, you know, the base winner parlay, I got to stick with that at least, guys, uh, until, until otherwise, you know, the way it's the way the results have been. Our guy, Mark Holmes, gets it because he's right. I do love the real Bieber. OK, I mean, who who wouldn't love the real Bieber? Uh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all in here. Corby, what do you think here? So everyone's bagging on the Mariners. Everyone's going with Cleveland. And I feel like you might have a different approach. Me personally, just like my personal feelings, I prefer Luis. I, I'm not ever been a big Shane Bieber guy. I don't think he's that impressive. Just I, I don't get why he's so good. I mean, he's good. I just don't understand it when I watch it. It doesn't make any sense. Sort of like Jerry Rice in the 80s. It didn't make any sense why he was so fast with the pads on because he wasn't the fastest guy at the combine, but he's obviously the greatest football player of all time. Corby, what do you think here? Mariners, Guardians. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I will say I, I bet uh, Luis Castillo in his, in his opening day start, and I'm betting him again. It's two, I've been on the show twice and bet him twice. Um, I, I, first off, I, I do think that he has looked a little worse than normal, but I, I think it's something that's going to regress. Like you see a velo that's the same, a, a speed differential uh, or RPMs that's the same. Like this is the same guy who has been an elite pitcher for years. Uh, his strikeout rate is down, but I think there's a few factors to that. One being he keeps playing teams to kind of know what he's throwing, but he threw what 96 miles per hour down to 85 la- last outing. Uh, feel plenty fine with that. The big issue with Shane Bieber is uh, the exact opposite. He's been playing teams who, uh, aren't the greatest. Like we talked about, he went against Oakland. Uh, this guy who kind of opposite splits, he's, he has sped up his fastball, but he's also sped up his changeup. So now you're looking at 92 miles per hour and 89 miles per hour. It's, it's just not a pitch, pitch mix. Mm. It's going to get a ton of swing and miss. Uh, it has so far, but I just don't imagine that it has the ability to basically all of his pitches fall off by three miles an hour, three miles an hour. Uh, some would argue still enough to at least get soft contact and shoot it foul. Uh, he has a really good way of, and kind of how you talked about, like from the eyeball test, he doesn't look great, but he has a good way of being right. a good pitcher. I'm not saying Bieber's bad at all, uh, but I do think if you're buying high on somebody, it would be Bieber right now and Castillo buying low af- after he just pitched versus a Red Sox team who put some really good balls into play um, versus some decent pitches. He did look like he didn't have his stuff fully, and I worry that he won't have it again here, but uh, took the Mariners... Money line minus 115. Yeah, Castillo's weird. He's one of those guys to me that pitches really well against bad lineups, but when it's a decent lineup, which I don't think the Guardians are decent in any way, shape, or form in their lineup anyways, he tends to dominate those. You know, he's a bully is what he is. He picks on the bad ones and uh, is nice to the good ones. He's sort of like a bully at school. 
Um, Mark Holmes says three miles per hour sounds like Kyle's velocity with the Swedish lady last. She was Norwegian, first of all. I got in trouble. I'm still getting in trouble for that, and I don't care. You are worth every second, Hilgi. I, I love you. I miss you. I need to get back to Huntington Beach soon. And three miles an hour might be a uh, a little fast. You know, I, it might be a little fast. Uh, but for purposes of this show. Differing opinions here. This game's going to be an interesting one. Corby's locking in the Mariners' money line, backing Luis Castillo over Bieber here. And that's at minus 115. We're getting our first flyover of the season here in Kiev. Uh, as they, they fly over, you have to salute them. Because, you know, those F-16s are real important nowadays. They need to train them. They need to train them. So I can't wait to call her today and blare music in the speaker to let her know um, she interfered with my day. What do you got, B-Dub? I can no, see some turn. Those flyovers were so so timely last year. Uh, as far as I this can't game stand go- it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as far as as far as this game goes, uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, you know, what 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 was your take on that again, Kyle? I just just kind of. I just I I. I, I I lean Seattle here because I do think the the Guardians lineup is bad enough that Castillo can bully them a little bit. And Shane B, Be- I like Shane Bieber, but it's when I watch him, I don't understand how he gets such good results because it doesn't. There's nothing that pops out to me. It's not great movement. It's not. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just, good because I thought we moved to a different game, and I already gave we're, you. We're my gonna take go to our Q and A. Yeah, you gave your take on this game. I, I just yeah, thought yeah, yeah. sometimes I, like, I oh, see your face. Back to me. What, ga- what game are we well, doing here? Okay. Because usually you, I get I see this like glimmer in your face, and I know you have something else to say, and it felt like that was happening right there. But again, purpose of the show: locking in Mariners money line at minus one fifteen, and we need you guys to hit the like button, help us out here. I didn't realize only thirty three likes. I mean, that's. Uh, that's a little hurtful here, but we do appreciate 110 of you watching live here on a Tuesday morning. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. Our first question. 